Many people think that fructose or fruit sugar is very healthy and safe, but did you know that fructose actually glycates your tissues and cells more than glucose? That fructose raises your triglycerides and can lead to fatty liver and other metabolic diseases? That too much fructose can lead to advanced glycation in products and actually age your skin faster. Well, it can do all that and much more. I've got several other videos about the dangers of too much fructose in your diet on this channel, but today I'm gonna tell you the seven highest fructose drinks that you absolutely need to avoid, not only for you, but for family members as well, especially younger family members. Now you may think that my list is just gonna include Coke and Pepsi and Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew and other soft drinks, but you're gonna be shocked at what the number one and the number two highest source of fructose liquids in that you can drink, you're gonna be blown away by this. So let's go backwards like any proper countdown should be conducted. Number seven is ginger ale with 900 milligrams per eight ounce serving. Number six is Sprite with 1,275 milligrams per eight ounce serving. Number five is apple juice. Yeah, apple juice has more fructose in it than high fructose corn syrup, Sprite, and ginger ale. Apple juice has 1,420 milligrams per eight ounce serving. Number four is the colas like Coke and Pepsi and RC Cola and others has 1,435 milligrams of fructose per eight ounce serving. Number three is all the caffeine-free colas. They contain about 1,493 milligrams per eight ounce serving. Now here are the two surprise winners coming in at second place and first place. Number two is Ocean Spray Cranberry with 1,500 milligrams per eight ounce serving. And then number one, the winner is grape juice with 1,860 milligrams per eight ounce serving. Now I've put links down in the show notes below uh, of research studies that you can actually print out and read yourself and maybe even take to your doctor describing what happens to your body in a negative way when you consume too much fructose. Now, for the vast majority of us, consuming a little bit of fructose here and some berries or there and a little limited fruit is not a big deal at all. Some of us can have severe gastrointestinal distress with any amount of fructose whatsoever. And then others of us, most of us, all of us really, if we consume too much fructose, we're going to have a worsening of our overall health. I also included a link to the list of the top 200 high fructose foods in case you want to dig deeper into this subject. Also, if you'd like to ask me a question personally, patient to doctor, although I'm not your doctor, uh, about your health, about nutrition, about medication, about your recent lab results, you can do that on my Patreon. There's a link down in the show notes. It's a quick sign up and for just a few bucks a month, you have access to my over two decades of knowledge on medicine, medications, and a proper human diet. The link's below. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.